What's up guys, I'm Roxette Arisa and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing another kind of chit chatty get ready with me video just because last time a lot of you liked it so I definitely want to incorporate more videos like this into my channel. And yeah, I got this sample of the Burberry Fresh Glow Luminous Fluid Base and it's basically just a very, uh, what's the word, glowing primer. Um, I've used it a few times already and I really like the look of it and this is actually the product that sort of inspired me to create a glowing makeup look that would be suitable for everybody and suitable for all year round as well. In general, the Burberry makeup products are just such high quality and I love that. Alrighty, now I'm gonna let that dry actually and I'm gonna move to the eyes because I actually wanna use a pigment today, which I know is it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, I'll admit that, but <laughs> because I'm using the pigment, I want to do my face makeup afterwards so that if there is any fallout, we are covered, girl. See what I did there? Cover, girl. What? I am priming... Whoa. I feel like I mentioned this in my last Chit Chat Get Ready With Me video, or possibly my last tutorial, but I've been loving this uh, eyeshadow base from NYX, and it's just the white one, and it's so good. It may look a little crazy right now, but once we get the rest of the shadows on, it just gives such a nice and crisp base. I always forget how amazing this palette is, uh, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, if you guys didn't know. I just love the pigment. I really like all the transition shades in here. They're just really nice in general. I've been using a new set of brushes lately that I really wanted to tell you guys about. So it's these brushes from Firma Beauty, and they're 100% cruelty free, and they're actually such high quality. So yeah, I've absolutely been loving them. You'll see me using them a lot in this video just because I have been using them a lot in general, but loving these. This is the 203 brush, and I really like this brush to apply shadows all over the lid. I like to go in with sort of a base shadow. Right now I'm using white chocolate from the uh, chocolate bar palette and I just like to pat it in and I feel like it just gives a much better pigment and you have a lot more control over the brush because of the way that it's shaped. So yeah, this is the Firma 203. Now this is the Firma 201 which I've been using for my transitional shades a lot. I've been using it for my crease shades and I have to say I just love it. I'm a sucker for soft brushes and that's exactly what these are. Um, especially the face brushes obviously. I notice them more because they're going all over my face and you'll see them in action a bit later but I just wanted to emphasize that. What do you guys think of my choker necklace? I showed it in my last haul and I just want to get your opinion on it because I've never, I haven't really worn chokers since I was really young. I feel like they were really popular in the 90s and then kind of disappeared. But now they're back and they've been back for a while, but I'm kind of late on this trend. I just, I really want to get your opinion. This is the star of the show, people. This is the Makeup Geek New Year's Eve pigment. It's so beautiful and I don't ever wear it just because, like I was saying before, pigments are a little hard for me to work with but you live and you learn people it's so beautiful because it's a gold pigment but it has specks of rose gold and I feel like it also has like iridescence of green in it so I don't know it's really unique but loving it and I'm taking that again on my uh, Firma Beauty 203 brush it's so great for precision blending or you know really packing on color Whenever I manage not to spill much pigment, that is a success page. This is one of my favorite brushes in the kit. It's the Firma 202 and I'm loving it because it's actually angled, which I personally don't have uh, any fluffy brushes that are angled, but I've just been finding it so nice to create an outer V that is pretty easily blended and I don't know, I'm just... I'm digging these Firma brushes. If you guys are really interested in this brand, I'll link them down below because 
Like I've been saying, I've been really digging them. Guys, I finally mastered my wings. Can we just take a moment? So proud. Yes. All of my hours of watching Desi Perkins are paying off. I feel like with a look like this, it's super important to just, you know, get your mascara on point or lashes if you want to wear lashes. Actually, this would look really nice with lashes, with like some big voluminous lashes. I may do that. Okay, here is a little survey for you guys. Are you one of those people that likes applying mascara and falsies? Or when you wear falsies, do you just not wear the mascara? When there's one speck of mascara. <laughs> Alrighty, now we can move back to the face. And of course, I'm using my Firma Beauty brushes. By the way, guys, I totally forgot about this foundation. It's the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-hour foundation. I have fallen in love with this all over again. I completely forgot about it and I'm so happy that I finally came to my senses and remembered it. What I've been doing lately is going in with my Firma 104 which is a flat foundation brush and sort of painting it on and giving myself sort of a general guideline and then I will um, after I finish this one sec, I'm just having a brain fart. And then going in and buffing everything out to make sure it looks all even and blended together. And it's been wonderful. This is, by the way, the Fermo 105. So they work really well together. I feel like this always happens. And right when I get in front of a camera, <laughs> I forget everything I'm about, I was about to say. I know I've literally used this in the past five videos, but... um. I am loving the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind again. Again, another old favorite that I completely forgot about. I'm actually really liking how this look is turning out. Yay! Side note, people always tell me, I know in the last video, I said that people told me that I look like Miley Cyrus, which is true, but people also have told me that I look like Brenda Song from The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, so what's the verdict on that one? I'm trying to use up my Cojun Doe face powder. And I know I really like it. It is really good, but I just want to experiment with other translucent powders. Uh, and this one is a little light for me. Um, I don't know if all translucent powders have that effect, but I feel like this actually gives me sort of a white cast. And it may be because of the SPF, because I know this has, yeah, SPF 20. And yeah, I don't know if that's why, but I really want to try the Laura Mercier one. I'm waiting, baby. I'm waiting. I'm just whizzing through this right now and I feel it. I'm feeling the love. I'm feeling the love, people. That's cute. Had some powder that wasn't fully blended. The Firma 205 pencil brush is so nice, especially if you like to smoke out your lower lash line because the bristles are long but very soft so they actually don't pull on your eyes at all, which is awesome. I know I've been talking a lot about the firmer brushes in this video but I honestly just love them so much and I've been super excited about using them myself so I'm just putting that out there for you guys. Brows are just a whole nother level, aren't they? So I tried doing my brows with a pencil instead of my pomade. Oh my gosh. I need to focus. I will be right back. I feel a little bit like Cinderella in this video, like a goth Cinderella, you know what I mean? Because I like the choker, I got my hair up in a hat bun. Cinderella people. Do you see it? You see what I'm going for here, you guys? Like, I feel like this could just go with anybody, you know what I mean? Like, this eye look is very versatile. Anybody, anywhere, any time of year, I think it would look beautiful. Now I'm going to go in with my uh, Firma 101 and my Face of Australia blush in Terra. <laughs> That's not going to help anybody. Yeah, this is a really nice blush and I wanted to use this shade for this look in particular. Yeah, I broke that. I feel like I am literally the clumsy, clumsiest person in the world today. Anyways, I wanted to go with a blush that would be suitable for all different, you know, skin tones and any time of year. So I thought this was a good option just because it's quite neutral, but it is, it has some dimension. You know what I mean? It's a deep brownie rose. Now this is sort of an all seasons glow look just because I find that 
glowy makeup looks are quite flattering in general. So I'm going on, um, <laughs> I'm going in with this awesome product. This is the Honey Bronze Highlighting Dome in the shade 1. And I'm going to apply that just directly onto the cheeks. And this is fine to apply over powders, you guys, so don't go crazy. Then I'm going to blend that out with my fingers and then apply Champagne Pop on top. And this is literally just gonna make it glow like JLo. Adding the cream highlight underneath is just going to amplify Champagne Pop even more. Not that it needs it, but just if you want, you know, all that glow and more, this is what you do. And that is a lot of glow if I do say so myself. I went through a phase where I was kind of over the highlighting shindigs, but I'm all all over that again now and I'm just loving the look of like glowing skin. Because I'm trying to create um, a very, I guess, versatile look that you can wear all year round, I'm just using my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Cheat Lip Pencil, what? The Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk, yes, that is the name. <laughs> and um, I'm just using that because it's kind of my go-to, but you can really pair this eye look with any kind of lip color and it's going to look gorgeous. So, for example, right now it's fall, so if I was in the fall, I would definitely pair it with a berry lip. Even for winter, a berry or a red would look beautiful. For springtime, nudes and yada yada yada, you get the picture. You can, you know, you can really tailor it to you. I just really want to add a little bit of sheen. Has anybody tried these uh, Maybelline elixirs? Such nice glosses. They remind me a lot of the YSL, uh, what's it called? Whatever those things are called. The ones that are supposedly an oil gloss kind of thing and they moisturize your lips and stuff. This kind of reminds me of that because it has that same texture. It's very slick and smooth and moisturizing. Alrighty guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys like it. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Like I said at the beginning, I was going for a very glowy, bronzed look, but I definitely wanted to make it versatile. That's why I paired it with a nude lip. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to make it so that you guys could wear it kind of all year round, whenever you like. Anybody could wear it. Anybody could rock it. Funny story, actually, my name derived from the word rocket. True story, guys. True story. I guess that's going to be it for me. I hope you guys like these ch chit chatty videos. I know today I didn't really have that much to talk about. Oh my goodness. I totally forgot to talk about something I wanted to talk about. And that is how to get away with murder. I've been watching how to get away with murder and I've been loving it, you guys. Like, I have one more episode left until I'm fully caught up and I'm so excited to find out what happens. I hope you guys like how this all season bronze and glowing makeup look turned out and I hope you guys can use it a lot. That was kind of my purpose in this video and other than that, I will see you guys next time. What's up guys, I'm Roxette Arisa and today I've got a haul from Brandy Melville. Now, I don't know if you guys, um, you probably